channel today I'm sharing the most perfect smoothie recipe for this time of year. It is my spring cleanse smoothie recipe. Just like we spring clean our home, we spring clean our organizer, we spring clean our makeup bag, we spring clean the car, we need to spring cleanse our systems. Coming out of the winter months where we ate heavier, we didn't move as much, so our bodies were very stagnant, our energy was very stagnant. And coming in to the spring months where we don't wanna feel like that anymore, we don't need to feel like that anymore, we definitely wanna feel lighter, we don't wanna feel bloated, we don't wanna have any headaches or skin conditions, we genuinely just want to feel our best. Getting those toxins out and really cleansing the liver and cleansing the digestive system is what we need to do so. So I'm gonna get straight into today's video, guys. For those of you that are not subscribed to my channel yet, please take the time to do so as it supports me as a creator and it continues to let me create content like this for you guys. So please make sure you do and let's get spring cleansing. So guys, this recipe is so, so easy. It's a handful of ingredients and all of them are accessible. They are so easy to get hold of especially this time of the year. There are seasonal ingredients in this, of course. There is absolutely no excuse. All you will need is a blender, that's it. I'm gonna start off by putting in the liquid part of this smoothie, which is coconut water. I don't use regular water for this, I use coconut water. Coconut water is filled with electrolytes, it's so good for you and it's the perfect base for this smoothie. So pop your coconut water in the jug. And then I have all the ingredients on a plate for you here. So you can see there's not a lot of ingredients and it's very green. So we'll start with spinach. We have a handful of spinach. Greens are just so full of antioxidants. They are so good for us and are necessary in any kind of cleansing or detoxing smoothie. So we have one cup of spinach leaves there. Then we have coriander. Coriander is such an amazing herb for cleansing and detoxifying. It helps the body detox, it eliminates any toxins in the body, and it grabs onto heavy metals in the body and it gets rid of them. So this herb is so necessary in this recipe. Then we have pineapple. So aside of needing to sweeten up the smoothie, as of course you have you know, coriander, they're such strong flavors. Pineapple plays a huge part. It's got bromelain in it, which helps kickstart the liver. So that's exactly what we need. We need to kickstart that liver. We need to be cleansing it, detoxing it, and that's what pineapple does. And then we have dandelion. Now, a lot of people maybe didn't even realize that you could eat the dandelion plant. Dandelions are seen as weeds. Well, they are weeds that are growing in our backyards or in fields and they just get absolutely disregarded. But they are abundant in health benefit. They are a liver tonic. They increase the flow of bile and also aids digestion. My nonna, my Italian grandmother, she knew about the humble dandelion. Uh, my dad would always tell me stories where she would make them go out and pick dandelions and always tell them not to pick the dandelions closest to the walking path because obviously the dogs pee there or you know they're just the dirtier ones and she'd make them run out as deep into the field as they could go and pick dandelions to bring home and she would boil them and make my dad drink the water and my dad used to say it was <laughs> disgusting but he swears that that's the reason he is so fit and strong today because she swore by these. So with the dandelion, you can eat the entire plant. You can eat the flower, the leaves and the root. I don't have the root here because I didn't want to dig up the ones that are on my grass and ruin my grass. But the ones growing in my flower beds or on the soil, I will dig up. But I don't have any today because I've, I've eaten them all. But these are such an amazing herb to take advantage of over the next few months. They are around for the next few months. You can dry these out and then when they dry, you can crumble them into a glass jar and then use them as loose tea. It all has amazing health benefits. So guys, make sure you take advantage of the dandelion. And then lastly, I've just got some dates, another natural sweet food to sweeten up this recipe. So I'm gonna pop everything into the blender and give it a good blend. This recipe makes one jug or cup, maybe a bit more than a cup, but I like to drink my smoothies out of big glass jugs. So if you need to make more, then just double up on the ingredients. 
just under a jug full with this jug. And that's how simple it is. Guys, don't sleep on this one. These ingredients are not gonna be around for long, so really take advantage of them. And I promise you, you are gonna feel so good after having a few of these. We are having them every other day and we're really feeling the benefits. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I appreciate you guys. <gasps> God, a bird just flew into the window, but it's okay. It was a little robin. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this week's video, guys. Comment below, guys. Let me know what you think of this week's recipe. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't done already, remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm also over on Instagram. It's at Honestly Alessandra. I am there daily sharing my healthy plant-based life. Until next week, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.